I just want to start by saying, great to see you again, great my friend. Great to see you. And nice to meet you. Uh, you. The Crown. Yep. Absolutely love that show. What is this Thanks. show? <laughs> it's a show about the, about the Queen of England, Andrew. Never heard of it. No. And uh, last time you and I spoke was Hacksaw Ridge. Yes. And just when you thought you couldn't top a performance like that, here you go. Oh, my goodness. I know. Will what are you, you doing? You stop. I'm, I'm not be, I'm not, I've known you for several years now, mm. so there's no reason for me to no, beat around the bush. That. Thank you. Fantastic job, both of you. Thank I you. love this film. Um, it's one of my favorites here at TIFF. Oh, I wonderful. just absolutely love it. But I want to know what surprised you the most about playing these characters as you learned about them? Mm. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh, gotcha. Ooh. <laughs> one day on set, I saw Diana had. Um, Red toenails. She Ooh. painted her toenails. Whoa. Okay, <laughs> and that, that surprised me. Um, that was the most surprising thing. Um, no, I was. I, I w wouldn't say I was surprised, but I was just overwhelmed every single day mm. by them mm. and her and him mm. and Jonathan and everyone involved yeah. with the with the film. I just was overwhelmed constantly every day. I think it, it's really nice to come back and revisit the film now and talk about it because, mm. in retrospect. You know, doing it, there was a, we, we, we were just doing it, so we were attempting just to live out their brilliant joy and strength and the life that they created. But I think with some retrospect and some objectivity right now, I can look back and say, I'm in awe of the life that they created. I'm truly in awe, and I don't know if I could do it. I mean, I, I hope that I would be as strong and as optimistic and as... Ah, devoted as they were, but um, I, I have to say I, I don't know if I would. But but it, but I'm in I'm in awe of the, of the of the human potential to do such a thing. Are there challenges to playing real people? You know, to get it right, p p p as a tribute. Yeah, sort it's, of? A, it's an interesting thing with this one because they're not they're not famous. These the, mm -hmm. these these two, they were ordinary folks who did extraordinary things and were very humble and weren't in the public eye. And so th I think as performers, there there, there was a pressure taken off. Mm. And yet, Jonathan was on set as our producer all the time. And we also knew that, and, Di and Diana was closely involved as well. Mm. So I don't know, I think, I, I'll speak for myself, I felt, ev even though an audience wouldn't, wouldn't know them from Adam, I felt very responsible to doing as, as close a job as, 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 as possible, while also m making it my own. How emotional was this role for you to play? Because there are some scenes where <laughs> both of you, just your breathing, you know, mm. the, the challenge is just to play in this character, but the emotions must have just run high as you, what, what's going through your mind? Well, keeping a lid on them was, was my main objective, because I think that uh, Jonathan made it very clear that his, he saw his mum cry once um, in, and in the whole process, like the whole life that he had, that he viewed. He had an amazing childhood and he, he never saw his mum break down or have an episode or anything like that. So. Uh, there, I there were very, there were some very tough days, um, which even now makes me feel a bit funny. Um, but yeah, no, I, I don't know. I, I I just felt very emotionally connected to it in general, and I just weirdly, it's a weird thing where you, I absolutely hated it, but I loved it. I loved doing the scenes with you. I just loved it at the same time, even though it was traumatic and awful. I just, oh, I just loved it.